Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Shaving with Brian. I'm going to be doing another shave video tonight with some stuff that I haven't used in a while. Just want to share with you what um, I'm going to be using tonight. Uh, first thing I'm going to be using is uh, Sterling Soap, Executive Man. I'm going to be also using my um, Vintage Chic Corona Razor. It's a turn to open razor. I want to say it's from the 50s, maybe 60s. Um, it's a very good shaver, very smooth shaver. And I'm going to be using an Astro Blade, which is a very first use uh, superior platinum blade. And for my brush, I'm going to be using my uh, Sterling Bore, which is a very fine brush, especially when you break it in, break in the hairs and get it nice and soft. But anyway, let me go ahead and soap it up. Go ahead and load my brush here with my face. Alright, okay for the soaping here. So anyway, these kind of brushes, these natural hair brushes, you got to soak them for about five minutes. At least five minutes. And the um, best way to do it is in soap in warm, you know, you know lukewarm water. And I like I usually do it after you know during the shower I'm in the shower. And I usually like to take a nice warm shower on these cold nights in Florida, which is very rare. And for bore, I like to load this up for at least a good 20 seconds. Alright, get that sucker loaded up really good. So I really like this brush. It's it's a it's a pretty inexpensive brush from uh, Sterling. I want to say I got it for like ten dollars, ten or eleven dollars. I think I mentioned in one of the other videos I just did. Let's go ahead and keep loading it up. And all right, that looks pretty good to me. Okay, let's go ahead and start. So this stuff smells awesome. I want to say this soap is actually supposed to be a, a version of the Creed Adventist scent, which smells very nice. It's a clone scent. Says soap. Smells really nice. I had the top open in the, in the bathroom uh, while I was taking a shower. And by the time I got out of the shower, I could smell the uh, scent pretty good in the bathroom. So it has a good, I want to say a good moderate straight scent. Say about a, about a seven or eight. So this stuff, as with Sterling soaps, they make amazing lather. And definitely one of my favorite soaps products to use for shaving. So you can see that lather right there, very nice lather. And the slickness is very nice too. Very good slickness on the soap. All right, so let's go over the first pass. Gonna go with the grain.
So I probably mentioned at least two or three times, this soap smells amazing. And this razor is gliding over this lather Effort, effortlessly. So this is a light, this is actually a very nice razor. It's a light razor, it's plastic, so. You gotta be really careful with this razor because you might have the tendency to kind of apply weight as you're, um, especially, you know, as you're doing your strokes against the skin, so that's where you get, that's where you can get cut easily, so you have to be careful this, with this type of razor, or any kind of plastic razor, right? Might matter. Nice feedback, can you hear that? Okay, right down the neck right there. That's where I always get a I always get like a little cut right around the chin area, so. Gotta be extra careful for me around there. So this is one of those razors that doesn't get a lot of attention. At least, at least I don't think it gets so much attention in the shave world, in the shave community. I don't see too many people really using this razor on any of the Facebook groups or. I mean, I do see it from time to time on on Badger and Blade or. The Shave Nook or one of those um, shaving sites on there, but it's actually a good razor. I mean, it doesn't. I mean, for being being a vintage razor, it doesn't get much much um, recognition. But I think it's one of the best sh shavers out there for someone of beginning the shave. You know, in with a city razor and traditional wet shaving. We go ahead and rinse. Okay, guys, here's the second pass. So this will be get across the grain. Now let's say about that shit Corona. They didn't make it very long. I want to say they made it for about five, maybe. I think it was under ten years they actually manufactured that razor, but but you know compared to Gillette, you know they haven't been around much much you know that quite as long as Gillette, but they make. Very good safety razor back then. Kind of wish they made an all metal razor, brass, you know, to compete with Gillette more, but at least we have this razor, the shit Corona, which is very still, in my opinion, very nice. Very good shaver. I actually like it better than um, my Gillette Super Speeds because the way it shaves so mild and I get great, great shaves with the razor. All right, so that's a good lather right there. I'll go ahead and start my across the brain pass right here with my shit Corona razor again. So this Aster Blade and this Razor is a really good combination. So a Razor like this, you want to have a good blade, 
you know, a good blade, good sharp blade. Something like an Aster or Persona Red or Persona Blue. Even a feather would be nice in this razor. I've noticed that if I use the the crappier and thick inferior blade, I didn't get a, I don't get a very good shape of this razor, but Astra Vashad Persona, I get really good shades of it with this razor. Yeah, for a plastic razor, it's been it's been holding up pretty well for close to sixty years. So I want to say I want to say at least the head is brass. Some of the earlier ver this is like one of the later versions. Some of the early versions of the shit Corona were had the uh, metal the metal um, dial on the bottom, which is actually what I'm. What are the ones I'm looking for right now, if I can find one? That's one of the first few shit Coronas that came out. After after about a few years, they started making the... I think I want to say after about two or three years, they started making the razor all plastic, including the uh, dial on the bottom. So it's definitely a good razor for a beginner if you're just starting out shaving. All right, let me get underneath the nose here. You try to get underneath my nostril there on both sides. Alright, let me go ahead and rinse. Alright guys, go ahead and face lather for my final pass against the grain. I got plenty of soap in this Born knot right here from Sterling. So this is one of the best. This is one of the best. This is one of the best brushes out there, in my opinion. One of the best kept secrets. Because the more I use this brush, the more softer it becomes and enjoyable to use. I was looking on their website for Sterling today and I noticed that they have uh, a lot of uh, sales going on for Christmas, you know, holiday products they, they're, you know, they're trying to get rid of. And also they had some factory seconds on there, factory, factory seconds for some of the brushes which were, uh, you know, they have a small defect, they're trying to, they knock off about, I want to say like 30, you know, 30 to 40% off the price of the brush. Which is really a good deal, because some of those factory seconds really they the only thing that I've bought a Sterling Kong at one in the past that was a factory second, and it had like a maybe a maybe a little bit like an imperfection on one of the letters, but that was it. It was that that was that was anything wrong with it. And I think I had I think I almost got it for like that particular brush, almost like forty percent, almost forty percent off the price. A buy a new one, so that's a good deal. So I encourage you guys to really go check that out if you're interested in a sterling brush like this or any 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 other sterling products like that, or or if you just want to get a Christmas soap, save it for next year. Let's go. I'm gonna go crawl against the grain. So Sterling 
my opinion, is one of the best soaps out there for sh for um, performance. The slickness is amazing on these soaps, as well as the scents. Plus, you can't beat the value of um, the cost of these soaps. I think Sterling is like only one of the only companies I, I noticed that has. You where you buy a sample, you can buy like a puck, which is a value puck, like a four ounce puck, or you can buy a a big tub of the uh, scented soap that you want. So, whatever price point you want, you're willing to pay. They have a You know, you have options to buy whatever, whatever you can afford, really. Like this, for instance, I bought, instead of buying the uh, full-size puck, I mean, the, I mean the full-size container puck, you know, the five ounce, I just bought the four ounce puck and I put it in the uh, old uh, Razor Rock uh, soap container. And they sell the labels on, on the website, so you can just pretty much just buy the waterproof labels and make your own labels. So at the time I didn't feel like I anyway, at the time I didn't really feel like buying a whole brand new soap paying full price. Even even though I can, sometimes I just want to try it out and commit to maybe a four ounce puck instead of like a big container and see how it See how it smells and see how it feels. Well, this is a good soap. I'm gonna probably if I ever get rid of, if I ever get down to the bottom of this container, I'm gonna probably get a whole full size container because it smells that good. Yeah, nice, nice shade. This is a very nice combination. And you know they, they, they you know they have one ounce samples too, which are I want to say like less than less than four dollars a a sample, so you can't beat that. And they have samples, and you saw every kind of soap they have, every kind of set they have on their website. Not to mention Rob, the owner is amazing to deal with. Great customer service. I bought a a set for my father-in-law for Christmas about a year ago. After shave and soap, I think it was Mountain Man, and it came in the mail. The soap was in actually the soap was okay, but the after shave broke, so it le it leaked all over the soap, and actually it was broken. So I um emailed Rob and he sent me a whole new set just said just keep whatever you have just you know you send me a whole set to replace it so you can't beat that kind of customer service all right that's very nice and smooth shave Got this one area here that always, oh, it never gets smooth on this little area underneath my neck. So usually I just try to go it back and try to finish up, maybe touch up that part. Yeah, I wish more soap. Wish more soap manufacturers would, uh, artisans would. Make smaller containers, especially when you buy many soaps, like I, you know, other people, such as I, would buy. Because it takes a long time to go through like a four ounce soap or five ounce soap. So I mean, I think Uncle John's is one of the only ones that does make a small one, like a two ounce. I think uh, K Shade Works does also.
So if you buy a lot of soaps, it's always good to have that option to buy a smaller size. All right, so that was a shave, which was an awesome shave, by the way. Like I said, I used um, Sterling, I used Sterling soap, acts like the man. Use my Sterling um, bore brush, which was excellent. About a about a month. I mean, after you break it in, about a, it took me a month to break it in really nicely. So once you break it in, it's definitely a nice bore. I mean, it's it's up there in performance with my Samogs I have. So it's definitely a very very nice bore knot. Just go ahead and rinse my brush out right now, so I can show you how show you the knot and how it splays. I like to usually dry my brushes, you know, just rinse them out. I like to take a towel and just try to also do this after I shake it off to dry it out, to help dry it out faster. So that's, a, that's the sterling bore. You can see the knot is huge. It's got a very good, nice... Very nice loft, display is very nice, it's got some good backbone to it. And after shave, I'm going to be using, last but not least, the Sterling um, after shave that goes with an executive man. And this is an alcohol based after shave, so might have a little bit of sting on it, but but it really does feel good though. And it smells very nice. And it's a good value also. I mean, their aftershaves are, I wanna say like $12, $13. This is an, actually an older version. I think the new ones now have a, have like a square type uh, bottle, amber, you know, with the amber colored, uh, glass, so it's actually a nicer bottle than this, but I still like the old bottles. I mean, I have plenty of this left over, so it still smells good, it still lasts. The staying power of this aftershave is probably about, I wanna say three or four hours, maybe more. I mean, I, I put on Sterling before in the past aftershaves, and I can smell it you know, in the morning for work, and I can smell it like when I get off at work about four, four, four o'clock or five, so they have definitely have good staying power. So guys, again, my shave tonight, I used Sterling Soap Executive Man with the Ather Shave, which was a very nice shave. And the razor I used was my Chic Corona Vintage Razor. Turn it open with the uh, first use of the Astro Blade, which is really, really good combination. I just love this razor. I love the way it shaves and I would suggest if you were a beginner or intermediate shaver, maybe even an expert, this has to be in your collection at least at least once. It's it's that good of a razor. But anyway, guys, you guys have a good night, and I will see you guys later. Take care.